you guys my name is Julia and I'm so excited to be bringing this video to you guys today this video actually marks the starting point of my brand new back to college series so just to give you a little bit more context about me my name is Julia Bedell I go to Brown University and I'm a rising sophomore and I'm also on the Brown gymnastics team so if this is the first video that you've ever seen from me hi welcome I'm so glad that you're here so basically how this video series is going to work and if everything goes according to plan I'm going to be posting two videos every single week for a month straight so this video that you're watching right now just went up August 17th at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which means the upcoming video release dates will be August 21st, 24th, 28th, and 31st, and then September 4th, 7th, 11th, and 14th. So to make sure that you guys don't miss a single video in this video series, make sure to turn my post notifications on and while you're at it, might as well subscribe, right? With all that said, I think it's time that we finally get into this video. Today's video is going to be centered around organizing all of my college stuff. So basically, the second I got home from college, I just dumped everything into my basement and into my attic and did not look at it since. <laughs> so today's goals are to go through all of my college stuff, whether that be in the basement or in the attic and just kind of clean, organize, and come up with a checklist of things that I need going into this new year. Okay, so. So I'm heading down to my basement first because we got the most stuff down there. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Definitely a lot of stuff and it is just kind of thrown all over the place. I was not kidding when I told you I have not touched this stuff since I moved out of college, but the good thing is is that not all of this stuff is mine. Some of it is my boyfriend Andrew's and some of it is also my friend Ryan's. So both of them live in California, but they both go to school on the East Coast. So they thought it was easier to just leave stuff with me because I'm from Massachusetts. This like kitchenware, scooter, skateboard, kitchen utensils, and these two boxes are Andrew's. This Ikea bag and box here are Ryan's. These packages, right here are Andrew's, but the rest of the stuff is mine. Look, I even brought my ring light down here for you guys. I'm taking this stuff seriously. I think my plan of action is I'm going to try to move all of the boys' stuff into a designated corner of my basement so I can just focus on going through all of my stuff. So this is all of Drew's stuff. I just moved it. Also, Drew has this like electric skateboard that he rides around campus and he just got these new cloud wheels. He actually taught me how to ride the skateboard. These things are so cool. Honestly, if I was more confident, I would love to get one of these for campus, but no. Now all I have left to do is to just move Ryan's stuff. Look at how much like clearer and more open this area looks. Well, kind of. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out what I want to tackle first out of my stuff. I might just start from this side and work my way over here. All right, hi, welcome to my floor. We're gonna start off with our very first bag. Oh, okay. So it looks like this is all of my brown gymnastics merch that I just threw into here. They actually just rebranded the logo. So I don't know if we're going to be getting all new gear this year. This is the new logo. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. Trying to find something with our old logo on it. This is our old logo and this is the new logo. But I mean, there's not very much that I can do with this bag. It's just going to sit here until I go to school in the fall. Second bag. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Okay. Oh, all right. So this is all of my shoes. Well, half of them. I remember I put my shoes in two different bags. I guess I can start selecting what shoes I want to bring with me out of these because I know I don't want to bring all of these shoes. Like I know I don't want to bring my Uggs. I don't know why I brought my Uggs last year. I did not wear them once. I don't even think they really fit me anymore, but I had a severe overpacking issue last year because I knew since I lived close, I could literally pack whatever I want. Like as long as it fit in the car, I could bring it. And I took advantage of that way too much. Like what? Why do I have a pair of flats in here? These don't even fit me. Also, I really never wear flip-flops on campus. Don't know why I brought these with me. Aha. I'm gonna be filtering through all of this stuff and then I'll come back to you guys. I'm gonna try to be a little bit pickier than I normally am because it really does not take much to convince me to bring something to school. All right, so here's my final shoe selection. I'm probably just gonna leave these Uggs here for my sister or donate them. And then I'm also not bringing these shoes. Into the bag they go. Guys, please comment down below outfits to style these boots with because I have these, they're amazing rain boots. It's just, I'm having a little bit of a difficulty figuring out how to style them. So let me know. Ugh. This is our shoe bag. Okay, now I'm going to be going through these bins. This is literally my biggest nightmare. There is just so much random stuff in here. So I'm gonna be like kind of going through these bins and organizing them and just kind of seeing what I have. Well, first of all, these are not mine. These are Drew's swimming parkas. These things are huge. Look at how long they are. 
There's just so much like rant. Okay, my uh, stuffed animal shrine right then. This one is looking like all of my bathroom supplies. Makeup storage. Oh, my asthma medication in a random bra. Like why? I don't, like what even is this? Oh my gosh, this is such a mess. Oh boy, okay. I don't think I can handle the whole like organizational cleaning process of these bins right now. Well, I should, shouldn't I? For now, I'm just gonna be sifting through them and seeing what I have in here to make sure I don't buy like duplicates of something. guys look look at what a mess this is like literally i just have like floss just chilling at the bottom of this bin i really don't know what happened here i feel like this just symbolizes sorry i'm like smelling the products to see if they're still good or not i feel like this just symbolizes the headspace that i was in when i moved out of college like what all right, so it's been like 10 minutes and I've sifted through the bins, kind of gathered all the information that I need to know. But I think right now what I'm gonna do is separate them and kind of arrange them how they were arranged under my bed, which was two by three, because I can see that the bottom bin is like kind of getting crushed here. So this is the exact way that these bins were arranged under my bed. Super useful and space efficient. Also, if you guys decide to get these bins, they're really great because the way that they snap into each other, they have this like lip at the top, which allows them to like move freely without like dragging the whole bin with it, if that makes sense. So we still have all of this to go through. I don't even know what I have here. So I guess I'll just start sifting through it the best that I can. Um, okay, shoe rack. Oh, I have this massive bag of sweatshirts and hoodies. As you can see, I um, viciously ripped a hole in this and took out the ones that I wanted. I need to stop having such like an emotional connection to all of my sweatshirts and clothing and really everything that I own because I can never get rid of anything. I apologize, guys. I feel like I'm making like no progress here. This is just like a college junk tour with Julia. Oh, this is where these went. Oh my gosh, I thought I lost these, but my mom got me the Hydro Flask natural cleaning tablets. And basically you just get like hot water, fill your Hydro Flask up, put one of these little tablets in it, and then it like cleans your Hydro Flask for you. Because you know, having those Hydro Flasks in school, those things get musty because I'd be using them around the clock. Oh, these are all my sweaters. I feel like I should get rid of some of these. No, but I like literally can't. Oh, forgot I had this thing. This little uh, dual purpose fan it can be used for cooling and heating. This thing was really good for like, just in general, I guess, because I would just have it going all the time because like the dorms won't let you have like a AC unit because it like uses up too much of the energy, but this thing was able to get by. So got it on Amazon. We got a million face masks. Okay, guys, I know it seems like I'm not accomplishing anything. I'm just kind of like moving things around, but it's helping me like mentally understand what I have. What is this? Oh, blanket. This is my um, $150 air ventilator because I developed asthma in my dorm last year. It's having respiratory issues. It's my roommate's dustpan and broom. Love you, Josie. For any of you guys, I don't care where you're going to school because even on the East Coast where it gets really cold, it's gonna be really hot at one point when you first move in and when you're about to move out. Get one of these fans, trust me. Best investment ever. People were like fiending over these fans when I first moved into college because it was like 90 degrees and like humidity of like 100% and everybody was dying. So get one of those fans, save yourself some trouble. Now that I have like somewhat of a better understanding of all of the stuff that I have down here, I'm just gonna quickly like reorganize it. Okay, so here is like the final college corner basement walkthrough. I have all of my clothes in this corner right here and all of these bags. I have this little like seat cushion that I had in my room. Pro tip, if you plan on having a lot of people come by and like visit your dorm and you don't feel comfortable having them on your bed, get one of these little like seat cushion things so they have somewhere to sit that is like not on your bed. And it's like comfier than the floor. And then I have my six bins right here, all of my fans and miscellaneous items. Then I have all of this stuff down here. This is just kind of like room decor, cleaning supplies, kitchen supplies etc um and then i have like small like bedding items like pillows cushions stuff like that got my shoe rack drying rack oh this electric skateboard from posway they sent me this like a month ago and i'm super excited to try it out when my boyfriend comes back and then we have all of drew stuff right here and then just ryan's stuff all right and finally this is just all of the stuff that i'm going to be bringing upstairs with me Oh 
Oh boy. So this is my very tiny and compact attic. This is where we store a lot of our suitcase, bedding, miscellaneous stuff because it doesn't get a weird musk that it would get in the basement. Anyway, we have my pillows, my memory foam mattress topper, blankets, more blankets, oh, sheets, towels, all of that. Oh, I have this duvet set, which I'm gonna put aside because I wanna wash this. Also, I'm gonna put aside my sheet set because I also wanna wash that too. So there really wasn't anything too crazy in the attic. It was mainly just like bedding. That's it. I'm just gonna walk these things downstairs with you guys. All right, we'll handle that later. But for now, I'm thirsty. I'm gonna get a drink. This video is not sponsored, but I do wanna talk about this company a little bit because they sent me these products for free and they wanted me to share them with you guys, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. Their company is called Tea Drops, and basically the whole concept of their brand is like super convenient ways to make flavorful tea. So I have all different flavors in here. We just have a whole assortment, like sweet peppermint, citrus ginger, matcha green tea, chai spice, strawberry matcha green tea. I'm gonna be trying this one today because this one looks so good to me right now. English breakfast, rose earl gray tea, aloha pineapple chamomile, and then these little baby tea packets and all of these are flavored viscous glow. So basically how these work, they're super, super easy. All you do is just get some boiling hot water, drop this tea drop in, let it sit, mix it up a little bit until it's all dissolved and then drink it. The really cool thing about these is that you can have them iced as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna follow the exact process that I just explained to you guys, but I'm just gonna boil less water. So then when it dissolves, it's just gonna be more potent and then I'm gonna pour it over ice and the ice will like melt into the solution and like water it down a little bit to the regular like flavor, if that makes sense. So let's do this, I'm super excited. We have like a Keurig, so I'm just gonna be using this. I have this little cutesy little jar. Oh, it fits perfectly, it makes my heart happy. And then finally, I just have a metal straw. Now I'm going to try it. I'm really excited because this smells so good and I feel like it's gonna taste amazing. Oh my, oh my gosh, that's so good. Wow. I can like taste each element that it was talking about. Like I can taste the green tea, I can taste the hint of strawberry, but it doesn't taste artificial. And I can also taste the matcha. And typically I'm not a huge matcha person, but like the matcha is giving this like almost a creamy flavor, not a creamy texture, but a creamy flavor. I don't know how to describe that, but like it just feels so like, Mm. As you can tell, we've made it back up to my bedroom and I just wanted to sit down and talk with you guys really quick before I wrap up this video. So completely irrelevant side note, I got this book called Atomic Habits and it was recommended to me by my fam. I don't know if you guys have been watching my videos recently, but I've kind of mentioned and hinted towards the fact that I've been obsessed with my fam. She recommended this book. I was like, I need to get that and read that. So I got it. But anyways, I would say that we had a lot of success today. I was able to come up with this beautiful checklist of things that I need to get and I will be dorm slice shopping for those products on my list in my upcoming videos. So if you guys want to see those, make sure to click my post notification button so you don't miss a post from me or from the series. I think that's pretty much it for this video. Do not forget that I'm going to be having another video coming out this Sunday, August 21st, where you guys can come along and do a little bit of dorm supply shopping with me. So that is pretty much it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that big red subscribe button. I did not notice this demographic until I started watching my fam, but she always says that over half of her viewers are not subscribed to her. And that is so true because I checked my demographic and 60% of you guys that watch my videos are actually not subscribed to me. So, I mean, you don't have to. There's no obligation, but I'm just saying. Imagine how much bigger this family could be. I love every single one of you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope to see you all on Sunday. Bye, guys.